exactly. a quagma, you're stuck. Yep. You have to treat, but you also know that when you're giving these big doses of insulin, there may be some side effects. This is something, Ralph, I don't think that has been necessarily appreciated by the medical community, has oh, it? Absolutely not. Yeah, there has generally been an ethos of, when I've talked to patients with type 2 diabetes, um, that what they've been told is, I'm told to cover with as much insulin as is necessary yeah. to maintain my glucose levels uh, in this range. And it means I can eat whatever I want. It's okay if I have all the pasta and bread and sugar in the world, because as long as I'm covering it with insulin, I'm okay. And then you find out, wow, you're taking 150 units of insulin a day in all of its forms, the short acting, the long acting, et cetera. But, but I didn't actually realize that that what we would consider physiologic is 35. I, yes. I, I may have known that at one point and I've since forgotten, but yeah. that's a great reference. Yeah. So basically if there's a person with type two diabetes listening to us today and they're taking 75 units that's of insulin, the, one of the takeaways should be, what do I need to do with my nutrition and other pharmacologic activities yep. plus exercise, plus everything that's under my control to maybe get that down to 35 where I would be at a physiologic level. Yeah, absolutely. There are things as you in, already insinuated, weight loss, if you can get people to do it, exercise, and then we can add medications uh, in combination with insulin, uh, insulin sensitizers or some drugs to help you lose weight that will all uh, uh, also allow you to get that dose uh, of uh, insulin, uh, you know, uh, reduced. But okay, wait a second, why is that the case? So. What insulin does is it downregulates the insulin signaling transduction system. So that insulin, when it binds to its receptor and then it activates IRS-1 and PI3 kinase and AKT, that system is downregulated by hyperinsulinemia. All of this that I'm telling you about, it's all published. These are all uh, studies done in, 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 in humans. And this also been shown in, in rodent models uh, as, as well. So this is another reason why we don't want people to be hyperinsulinemic. So w w one of the big things that we've forgotten is that insulin, I told you, there are two problems in diabetes. Yeah. One is you don't make enough insulin. The other is you're insulin resistant. You need to attack both problems. Uh, and the paper that I recently published, uh, which is a perspective in Lancet Diabetes Endocrinology, was to bring people back to, look, we're, we're focusing on obesity and weight loss, and we should, but we need to remember that we still have a genetic cause for the insulin resistance. You know, you go back to 1950, uh, you know, the incidence of diabetes was 2%. Uh, 